Hi everybody, it's Kara. I did a little um, retail therapy yesterday and stopped at a local bead store. So I thought I would share what I picked up there. I got just a few things that I wanted um, for a couple bracelets I'm going to be making. Here's the first little type of beads. There's those. And then I bought just some cute little smaller clear ones. Hopefully you can kind of see those. Just simple. And then these. And these are kind of cool because, let's see if I can show them to you at all. They are not exactly round. They have a little dips in the side of them. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on that, but they're kind of cool. And then another set of small ones. Kind of a light pink. And then I got these butterflies. My camera will focus on that or not. There we go. Which I thought were really cute and will be cute as little charms on a bracelet. And then I got two sets of these little um, leaf beads. This is kind of an off-white and then a clear. Hopefully you can see those. And I have a project I want to try those on. So that's all I got there. And then I made just a quick run to Michael's. I picked up a few more sets of these um, little chipboard shapes that I've shown you in another haul. And then I picked up some chain. Um, for some bracelets I'm going to make. I have some chain here at the house already, but it's smaller lengths, and these are a little bit different, so I thought I'd get a few different kinds. Let's see if you can see that. Maybe take it out would be better. Anyway, I thought I'd get a few different kinds just to have some more options. There we go. Let's see. You can see kind of what that one looks like. There we go. So it's a bigger link. And um, yesterday they had some pretty good sales, plus for their regular price stuff, I had a coupon for, I think it was 30% off. Here's another chain that I got. Again, it's a bigger link. I thought that was pretty cool. You can see it. I have ordered some um, buttons from a few places, and I want to make... In addition to a charm bracelet, I want to make a button bracelet. So I wanted to have some of these bigger links because I think that might be the way I go with this. And then I got... Oh, these chains don't want to clock right. Let's see. Then I got this one. Which is cool because it's... Hopefully you can see that it's linked together. Already done for you. So I thought that was a really neat option. And that would allow me, you know, if I do the same length of a, of a bracelet, that would let me put a ton more um, beads and buttons and charms on it because I have two, link, two sides. So I thought that would be way cool. So I got that one. And these were, like I said, full price, but I had that 30% off. So they weren't too bad. And then I got one other chain, which is this one. I'm not going to take out because I think you guys can see the links pretty well on that one. These are all from Bead Landing. That's the brand that they're at Michael's. I got some more jump rings because I didn't know how many of these big ones I had. And a little bit more wire because I have bought, and think I, I think I've shown you guys, the two different kinds of wire I bought before. This one, which is um, 20 gauge. And then this one, which is 24 gauge. I wanted for a specific project, and they're both too thick. So I went for, what is this one, 26. And I looked at it a little bit more closely, and this is uh, probably will be the perfect gauge. So I'm hoping to have um, a project, if it works out right, done with this wire here soon. And then I picked up a set of these really green beads that I have in mind for something in particular, which I think will be really cool. Again, hopefully it'll work out. 
And their beads, like I said, um, at Michael's yesterday were 50% off. So that was a pretty good deal. And then I got two sets of the same bead in two different colors because I just thought they would be really nice on charm bracelets. This is in a pink and then in kind of a gray. They're really cool. They're nice heavy beads. I like those a lot. And then I picked up a beading tool because this is the tool. Let me see if I can get it out real quick for the tools. Um, and I got this because I am constantly, when I'm making charms, and I will be making more bracelets soon because of all those beads and such, constantly um, going to get more jump rings because, number one, I need to get better at putting them on there and maintaining their shape. But um, on top of that, I just uh, tend to go through them quite a bit. And I have that wire that I showed you before that I got for a project, which is, is too big, but I wanted to use for something. So these two tools will allow me to make my own jump rings. So um, since I had the coupon and they weren't too pricey to begin with, I thought I would give them a try. Um, it's got, hopefully you can see the kind of graduated, you know, um, point. So you can make them in different sizes with that wire. And I thought that would be way cool, and then I wouldn't have to be running out all the time to get various sizes. I could just make them myself. So that's why I got that. And it is called, I'm not sure, a mandrel. It's a round mini jump ring mandrel. And then it shows you on the back, which I've seen people doing videos on YouTube, but it shows you how to make them. So I thought I would give that a try. So that's my little haul. Thanks for watching, and I hope everybody has a happy Easter. Bye.